Hey everybody, it's August 29th and almost September Ooh, already. Dang. Um, you're here at the Chaos Community Weekly Call. I'm Elizabeth, the Chaos Community Manager. Uh, good to see everybody here. As always, if you need the minutes, uh, feel free to just ask in the, sorry, are the bugs too loud? <laughs> the cicadas, it's such a pretty day. I have the window open, so you might hear some cicadas and things. So, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's great. Um, uh, yeah, so here we are. It's the code of conduct reminder that you get every single week, but I'm going to do it again. Um, just keep it in mind. You are under the chaos code of conduct for this meeting. And um, of course, if you want your cameras on, you can turn them on. If you want them off, leave them off. Totally fine. Um, yeah, so this is a pretty light agenda, really just a lot of reminders. It seems like, oh, good. Somebody added some stuff. Okay, cool. So first thing on the agenda, guess who's on vacation for two weeks? You go right Dawn now. and Elizabeth. So basically everything's going to fall apart. Yeah. Yeah. Dawn is also on vacation. Mm. She's going somewhere awesome. I'm going nowhere. So, but I love what I'm going to do is finish painting my bathroom that's been half painted because I painted up to where I could reach. And then I stopped and I never finished it for like three months. It's been like that. So yeah when you when i come back it's gonna be done i'll be so happy yeah don's going to malta <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds a lot more fun than painting a bathroom oh, i i prefer malta <laughs> i don't know i'm not from ohio but yeah ohio or malta malta <laughs> yeah yeah i can mine's a lot less effort though really like i can yeah i don't have to travel anywhere i don't have to get on a plane or a train or anything but i feel like it'll be worth it don definitely the effort will be worth it the, what is that the the view is worth the climb kind of thing yeah so yeah so um you will not see me for two weeks uh, or don but um i'm sure somebody maybe probably matt or sean somebody can facilitate or you all can just pick somebody collectively random. facilitate we could have facilitation lottery at the beginning of every meeting <laughs> that's right i love it um okay so the next thing on our agenda is that just a reminder we have a new project managers channel um, those meetings will start tomorrow. They're going to be, um, I think we're going to try, well, here's the thing. So we said we we're going to try them every week and then I go on vacation. So we're going to have one and then we're going to wait a couple of weeks and then we'll have another <laughs> when I come back. Um, what we're going to try to do this first meeting is just basically figuring out what kind of tool we want to use, if it's going to be Trello or um, GitHub projects or whatever we end up using. Um, to kind of manage all of the things that are going on in chaos the little mini projects that we have and all the ideas that we have because we have quite a few so we just want to put them all somewhere and so if you are interested in talking about any of that stuff and you would like to be a part of that meeting you can join us tomorrow at 1 p.m central or 7 p.m west africa time um at, of course at this channel too or you can join us on slack here at project dash managers do we have you don't have to be like certified or anything like that if you are interested in helping out with this I just want to make that clear it is just for those who um, have an interest, maybe some experience would be helpful but. Um, yeah we're open to anybody just want to make that clear did someone have a question I didn't mean is it on the calendar. Well, it should be. I just saw it on the calendar last week, but I didn't look this week candidly yet. I guess we can look. If not, I'll fix that. It's not. It oh, weird. It oh. was last week, though. Yeah. <laughs> I, had to, I had a conflict and didn't show up, but. Um, yeah, I, I mistakenly started it last week on the calendar. I didn't mean to. Maybe maybe that's why. Let's <laughs> so see. Nobody, probably there's a whole room of people just waiting for you. <laughs> oh, yeah. OK, that's all right. Um, OK, well, let me just put a little action item. I'll fix that. Sorry about that. Okay. And then is the the hope of this meeting and like the Slack channel to kind of coordinate the smaller projects or is it for folks to kind of talk about what goes into coordinating the smaller projects? So like, will it actually focus on say like the badging bot? I would say the actual work will go in the place where the work happens, if I were to guess. 
of course we haven't really sorted anything out yet but i would imagine like the actual work will go there and this is a place for project managers to kind of just come together and get organized together if that makes sense i know this sounds this sounds like professional coaching i could use so I'll... <laughs> so okay so just for instance like we need a place so like okay last here here's a great example of this of what i'm envisioning so last week we had this idea for where was this the landscape project that we wanted to do uh where is that right here right here but like we don't have an owner for that we don't have somebody that's going to kind of keep it moving keep it going know what's going on with that that point person so my i'm envisioning that that will get assigned or someone will volunteer to kind of be the point person for that project and then meet with those folks to figure out okay what do we need to do when do we want things to happen who needs to be involved all of that and they will take it from there that's what i'm envisioning but it needs to start somewhere and like right now there's nowhere for that to start really it will just kind of linger on you know what i'm saying same yeah. thing like with the onboarding course like we have the education channel but we don't really have an owner for it or a person that is a point person that knows everything that's going on that can kind of go into that education channel and kind of get things organized and get a task list going and get like some some organization to it if that makes sense matt yeah so the so the meeting would would it be like updates from different folks like it, pretending i was like leading the education stuff you know like the content stuff like would i attend this meeting to talk about what i'm doing there I mean, I, I guess it will depend on what the group wants to do. Um, I would envision that those kind of updates would happen more in like a meeting like this, where it's like or for the community, but the project management would be like, okay, are we, are we using Trello? How are we using this? Are we, um, is everybody getting what they need? How are we, do we feel okay? Like that kind of stuff with like the actual project management task. Uh, I know. From, from my perspective, just as the auger maintainer and having some other responsibilities, participating and having having just that time to meet with other people that are managing lots of things and talk about progress and how to manage that is, is probably going to be very helpful. Um, yeah, so for instance, I'm envisioning this, this is the group where, um, you know, okay, so I'm a project manager for the onboarding course, for instance, maybe I could come to this group and say, I need some um, advice on this piece, like I, I'm not able to make movement on this piece, or does anybody know if there are is anyone that can jump in and, and help with move this piece along, like that kind of stuff, I think where it's like a little bit higher level than what you're talking about, Matt, where the actual work would happen in that education channel. But this would be just a group for people to come together that are are kind of managing these little projects. Okay. It would the hope be to standardize some of the tools that we use. Yeah. Yeah. In these smaller projects, so like for example, Trello. I mean, I know that's not decided, but. Yeah. Yes. Right. Okay. Just to bring some consistency in, like a process to when we do have an idea for a new project. Okay, now we know. Like we have someone who can jump in and, and be that point person, set up a Trello board, get organized, so that any time if if anybody wants to see what's going on with the project, they can go in there and look. Okay. And we thought we would meet weekly just to get going. And then maybe I don't we wouldn't need to meet weekly, I don't think. Maybe once a month or every other week. Probably once a month, I would think, just to okay. check in with each other. I would be interested to see uh, or to hear from folks in this channel that are also in that project manager's channel if they're thinking the same thing I am or if they're thinking something completely different because we haven't really had a chance to talk about it. So if anybody else has thoughts, I'd love to hear them. Hi, Elizabeth. Um... Well, I think what you said is actually what I had in mind also. Um, we kind of said during the meeting we would discuss it in detail because we've not really finalized on what would be handling. But I think, yeah, you, you captured what I had in mind also. Okay, good. <laughs> Phew, that I'm not just out here 
with my own stuff. So that's awesome. That makes me feel better. Thank you, Vasayo. That makes me feel a lot better. Um, are there any other questions or comments about that? I think this will also help when someone comes to um, chaos and they're looking for something to do or some way to uh, contribute. Like the project managers can also, they will have a better handle on what's needed in the individual projects instead of us just, you know, kind of feeling like we're just going to, oh yeah, just go to the auger channel and ask, you know, or go find a, an issue and ask. Like maybe there'll be somebody, um, or, or like the onboarding. Yeah, just go in that channel and ask. But maybe there's somebody that can maybe be a little more directive and help kind of smooth that process out a little bit. Okay, so if there are no other questions, I will I will move on. <laughs> You're in the wrong week. Sorry? You're in the wrong week. Oh, am I? I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, we still we still do have those tickets though. Thank you, Matt. For, I, didn't, I didn't even put them on the agenda because I'm like, I said this literally every week, but we do still have all things open tickets. If somebody wants one, somebody wants one, let us know. Here we go. I'll just put it right here. ATO tickets. Yes, we still have them. So yeah. Um, any questions on that? No. Okay. Um, next one is the, I uh, just wanted to give people um, a heads up about the DEI project badging initiative. Um, if you're interested in watching a demo, Enoch is going to do one <coughs> tomorrow at the DEI working group meeting, which happens at 10 a.m. Um, you can you'll be able to see what happens when someone does fill out the dei.md file and I think when they apply through the maybe the website and what happens next I think that's what's going to happen I, Is so he too. I don't think he next here today no okay well we're just going to make that up then and say that that's what that's going to be about um, it should be pretty interesting to see so I'm very excited to see that happen because we've had quite a lot of interest from a lot of folks about this project so um yeah it'll be it'll be really good to see see it in action for sure any questions or um if folks on that project want to add anything else that's also fine tell the community anything yesterday we spent a little bit of time going through the the text the copy for that web page just kind of what that would look like um and how applicants could kind of understand the process. So we spent a little bit of time just kind of updating that. And I, I think it's pretty good to go at this point. Um, also kind of working on the text to kind of indicate that we're at that bronze badge to start, you know, those four metrics that are in the DEI.md file with future work to come at that silver, gold, and platinum level. Um, and ways to encourage people to join us in that conversation. And then the DEI.md file has changed just a little bit, um, not with respect to any of the metrics, but in the DEI.md file, there are a few examples of what people could put for how they are addressing the particular metrics. So, you know, like we're like a sample description could include these following things. And we've um, been getting feedback from other people as to what those things could be. Uh, Cause we had like four, maybe five and they were pretty chaos centric. And so we've been asking other people as to how they would address say newcomer experiences as an example and how they might express that in a DEI.md file. So that, that list of suggestions has gotten a little bit bigger uh, just as we continue to get feedback, but we're trying to keep that list under 10 or 10 or you know, just, or at least at 10 so that it's not, you know, here's a sample of the 40,000 things you could do um, for a particular metric just to not overwhelm people. And just to clarify for folks, the website we're talking about will not live on the chaos site. The DEI event badging still does live on the chaos side or the chaos website. 
Um, but this will actually go into the all in open source.org website. So the new one for project badging will be badging.allinopensource.org. So just to clarify that for folks, if you're not sure. And that's because we're partnering with the All In Project on that. If you didn't know, now you do. So any questions on this? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna probably finish quickly, awesome. Yeah, I, I have no opposition to meetings that don't last as long as they are scheduled. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so the next item on our agenda is just a reminder um, that the app ecosystem meetings will return in a couple weeks. So if you um, want to join those, you can do so starting September 14th. Um, reminder, if you want to add those to your calendar, you would just come here and, oh, we're at, this is August, September. 14th. Is that right? No, September 12th. What did I say? 14th. Gosh, I'm sorry. Two days apart. <laughs> Don't show up on the 14th. It won't yeah. be there. But the 12th, so you would just click this as always, oops, and do copy to my calendar if you want to get that back. Georg, you're on here today. No, I don't want to put, oh, he's on here. Okay. He's not here. Well, when he comes back, if he wants to say something about this meeting. Yeah, and I have a question too, because the app ecosystem uh, working group has, it was actually kind of functioning like the context groups that we have mm -hmm. before we had the context groups. And so the app ecosystem group, I think it has been around for, gosh, you know, well over a year at this point. And then uh, in, for, you know, you know that we have these, context groups that started maybe two or three months ago or longer, whatever, six months ago. Um, and right now we've been using kind of this framework to kind of help talk about what we might look at within the particular context groups. And I'm wondering if that would be helpful for the app ecosystem. To me, this, this app ecosystem working group has always kind of been like out there on its own. And if there would be a way to kind of like bring it together with the other context groups at this point, that would be really great. Just I think from a like a optics perspective, that it's it, it seems related. So if there's a way that we could make it work together, that would that would be good. Yeah, I agree. And I, I always am a little bit hesitant to even really talk too much about it. Um, because it is kind of its own little pod over here on the side it's a little bit siloed from the rest of chaos so it'd be great to integrate it more with mm -hmm. our flow and just our usual kind of uh of workspace mm -hmm. so maybe when georg if he walks back to the his desk we'll bring this I back i have uh i have attended those meetings yeah so you, you're you're correct that it's very much a context okay a context group uh, so in the, in the past, when I've talked about the context groups, I usually, I usually refer to them as a context group as well. So, okay. uh, I do think they're, they are different though, than the current context groups. So I don't mm -hmm. think it is a matter of merging them with another context group. I think they, I think they are a, a, a separate context group. Okay. Do you think, um, having attended it, you know, that framework that we have that we've been kind of using, I think it has worked pretty well in the OSPO, corporate OSPO, and it's worked particularly well in the university setting. Um, do you think like something like that could be helpful there? Would it fit based on the conversations you've been part of? Uh, yeah, I would defer. I So I would defer to Georg on that as well, but oh, okay. there you are. Uh, Georg just popped in, so he would okay. be. So Georg, can you him. answer all our questions? I can, yes, the answer is yes to all of the questions. What were our questions? Okay. Uh, no, not that's too much. You asked too much. <laughs> <laughs> so the basically the we were saying as the app ecosystem um, group starts again that it has it 
at this point, I think seems and Kevin kind of confirmed that it seems like a, one of the context working groups. You know, it, and it's been, yeah. it was, it started way ahead of the, the three others that we have at the moment, the corporate OSPO, the university OSPO and science. And so trying to think of ways that maybe we could get the app ecosystem kind of coordinated with some of the way that the other context working groups are thinking about things without forcing anything. So right now we have a, there's a, a framework that I've been proposing within each of the other context groups as a way to kind of think about, um, it's basically just following the goal question metric approach as to what the appropriate metrics are, you know, for the things that you're trying to accomplish, say in a university or say in a corporate OSPO. And I can put that in here in a second, but like, I'm wondering if a, a similar framework, if you have something or it could be applicable in the app ecosystem framework as well. And the reason that I asked that is because then we would have kind of one artifact. It's different in each one of the, the context groups, but it would be at least one artifact that would kind of look similar. And it might allow the context groups to see where they overlap or where efforts could be coordinated. I think that's kind of the hope in this framework. And the framework is to use the goal question metric approach. Yeah. So I, I let me go grab it really quickly here. I'll we can also look at the things we've produced in the app ecosystem working group, which are aligned with the goal question metric approach where mm -hmm. we have defined metrics. And we started out with event organizer metrics or event reporting metrics. And we've worked with the with the GNOME GWADEC uh, event and the mm -hmm. KDE's Academy and the Linux app summit organizers to bring some of these metrics into the, the organizing teams. We might also want to consider uh, uh, adding some liaisons to that group. I think the, did we, yeah, did we right. add liaisons to the other context groups within yeah. the community meeting or did we do that in I think we just did a call out in the community meeting. Okay. Yeah. So Georg, I put that sample framework in the chat and then also in the minutes. So like the, the the functions across the top, they vary based on say the university context group or the science context group. So this is just the one re that we had kind of started in the OSPO, the corporate OSPO working group or context group. And so ultimately just, you can kind of see we're trying as opposed to metrics for metric sake or metric models for model sake, we're trying to say like, what are the main, what are the main functions that you would have and then under those functions what are the, the goals and it's not a perfect set of everything um but then the hope is is that if you go back to slide one elizabeth that there might be say for example some similarities between um, some of those bottom squares in the corporate setting as would be in say the university setting and we can kind of share ways of thinking between the different contexts. So that in this case, you know, the way that a university would think about open source within that context could potentially leverage some of the things that have already been specified in the corporate setting. Or in the case of App Ecosystem, likewise, you know, maybe you've thought through some of these things and they would be extremely applicable in another context. We just, we, we don't know if they are or, or they are not. And the framework then would kind of help carry that conversation between those context groups. I can see how this aligns with what we have done already. It naturally naturally aligns. And this is a different way of presenting it and organizing the okay. conversations we've had. Okay. Um, yeah, and I don't mean to like just say put it in that framework, like not to add more work, but okay. Thanks.
Okay, so um, we do still need a liaison, I guess, right? Unless Georg, you want to be that person, but mm -hmm. um, yeah. Maybe maybe Georg could give us a pitch for what the app ecosystem group is. It may not it may not be completely obvious to everyone what the context is. The app ecosystem working group is made up of members from the KDE and GNOME communities, and they are different desktop applications on the Linux uh, kernel, but they share, uh, share common concerns about how do they provide a visual interface to applications on the desktop. And the metrics that we have worked on over the first years of the group have been centered around events because GNOME and KDE have events. And so there was a natural overlap with how they can collaborate and build out better metrics. And I don't know where we're going next. I think marketing metrics was a topic we started working on, but we have also others around community management and foundation metrics that we are interested in. Does that make sense to everybody? Does anyone have questions on that? Georg, I have a question uh, on the app ecosystem. So does this uh, group has released any metrics in the past? Are you planning to do, or you are utilizing just the metrics? I'm just trying to understand that. The, uh, in the chat, I linked to a PDF that we created with the metrics that we developed and released. So yes, we have defined our own metrics. Um, we've used existing metrics, but we also defined our own metrics. And you can see here goal. We start with the goals and then as when uh, Elizabeth scrolls down, we'll see questions and then the metrics that we defined and also a little bit how to collect the metrics. Um, so that, that is my answer. Yes, we are defining metrics. However, they haven't been released as chaos metrics. Correct. They have not been rolled up into the chaos metrics. That was my point. So how to bring them on the chaos metric list or are we planning to do that or what is the way forward? I think the way forward is that isn't the common group, the group where we would keep a queue of these. Yep. Yep. And the liaison would help. Yeah. Bridge that. So then to our earlier question, I think it would be very helpful to have a liaison. Yep. And so I think in this case, the liaison could help. There seemed like there's a lot. So maybe just start the process of, you know, putting some of them into a template form. The way that they would understand the metric is probably defined here. Um, probably, I don't know, either bring it back to app ecosystem to just get a little bit more clarity on what the metric is about and what your thinking is, and then bring it to common where there could be a discussion. And from there, kind of just bringing those two discussions forward towards release. And my guess is there would be, it would potentially be pretty, I mean, there's a lot, the slow part would be the, the volume of them, but I'm guessing that a lot of these metrics are pretty well thought out by the app ecosystem group, that getting them in on paper may not be that difficult. So I don't know that we have anyone who is jumping in here to be a liaison today, but maybe we can post something in Slack or bring this up again next week. Yep. I, I suppose I would I would encourage uh, people on this community call to maybe uh, pop into an app 
app ecosystem meeting. So I've I've been to a, a few. They're 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 really cool. It's a good group. Yeah, maybe once it starts up again, we will bring it back again. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, everybody. Any other final comments or thoughts on the app ecosystem? Nope. Okay. Oh, I do actually have a question. Does anybody know if we have them listed under our context working groups on that doc? Probably not. Okay. <laughs> Which, which doc are you referring to? You know, the one that um, links from the governance, talks about all our stuff. And then there's like, a, I think a list, right? Of context working groups. Uh, I'm, am I, did I, I just- might, I might have added it. Okay. Uh, I've added it in a few places. Okay. Uh, but I'm not sure, where is that doc located? No idea, I don't know. <laughs> somewhere in the community um, it is in the community to, it, yeah it's linked to from the governance is it on the website yet Vina? i don't think so it okay. needs to be like it is there in the, on the github but it has to be linked to the uh, chaos website pages okay. okay i'm gonna make a note of that for the next web meeting It's in here somewhere, you said, in, probably in governance. In right? the, yep, in the governance. Okay. Governance.md, I think, is the one. Yep, Work. this is the one. Hey, oh. That's the, this is the doc I was thinking of. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. No, it is on the website. It's in the knowledge. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is in the website, but uh, I was referring to that just governance document, uh, whether that is on the website or not. Uh, oh, well, the main, the main, uh, if you just click back, uh, Elizabeth, click back on this tape. Yeah, this page is not on the website. I'm referring to this chaos governance. This page should be on the website is my point. I got you. Okay. Yeah, it should. Okay, I'm going to just delete that then since we did we just did that. All right, anything final on this? Thank you, Georg, for your context around that. That was super, super helpful. Appreciate that. Yeah, of course, my pleasure. And thank you for thinking of ways to keep it in the fold and have the, the energy that we've put in this also flow back into the rest of the work we do. Great. Okay. So this is also kind of an announcement. Um, we have some space at OSSEU in a room on September 21st from 2 to 4 p.m. Uh, kind of donated to us from the Open Euler. Did I spell that right? Open Euler? Is that right? Euler, I think, but I'm not positive. You are correct. And it's Euler. Okay. It is Euler. So I'm so, not. Oh, so the guy that it's named after is Boiler, but all of the people who work on the project say Open Euler. Okay. Oh, so, so we right. call it Open Euler. Oh yeah, I knew a person That's with that. That's so life. odd. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um. It really, anyway. that is really interesting. By the way, that's just a little context. I... <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay, Euler, Euler, Euler workshop. Um, so we talked this morning in the metrics models working group about doing a um, just a, a small workshop for these two hours on using dashboards with with data because um, the this community, however you pronounce it or spell it, is um, very has done a lot of work in this area and thought that maybe we, it would be great to involve them and also the audience members in this conversation. Um, here's kind of some of the topics that we talked about this morning. Um, we do need a potential moderator for that workshop. If anybody on this call is going to be around at OSSEU and wants to help 
do that would be great. So the, yeah, the idea would be we would have somebody from the open Euler community talk about the dashboards that they use and how they manage, say, overload or just kind of that sweet spot around the dashboards and what is useful for them, for their community. Um, and then how they take that data from the dashboards and make decisions from that data or share that data. Like, where does that data go <laughs> from, from looking at the dashboards? Yeah. Um, we also thought we would have somebody, another community member, not from Open Euler, uh, but from another community kind of address the same issues in their particular context. And then um, it's a little like the workshops that we had based on that conversation, we could break up into smaller groups for those that are attending and just kind of talk about these two concepts in their own smaller group. I think we've done this in prior OSSNA and OSS or um, BOSDEM, you know what I mean? Where we kind of seed the conversation with a couple of people giving their perspective and then we ask people to reflect similarly. Um, so the moderator would kind of have to facilitate that the introduction of the two presenters, asking people to break out into groups and then kind of facilitating their reporting back. And Georg, that was why I pinged you this morning. <laughs> you didn't figure that out yet. <laughs> I would have offered, but I'm staying home to be with our son who turned 16, which Ooh. is a big deal here in the United States. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'll be there, but I'm going to be on vacation right before. So I'm, I feel like I'm not going to be able to prepare as a moderator. Well, I guess we can keep um, asking. <laughs> yeah, this just came up a couple hours ago. So yeah, so if you are going to be there and you would maybe think about it and let us know, that would be great. We can also asked Daniel. I know he is going to be there. Yeah. Uh, at least in Bilbao. And I know Daniel also, you know, he has experience teaching class in university and he's pretty good at facilitating. And he messaged me. I think he's going to be at that meeting. But he's on vacation now. So I think we just need to catch up with him when he gets back. Yeah, that's about right. We could ask Yahui as well. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. be there. Yeah, Daniel and Yahui have a talk together about building OSS Compass and culture and what they learned together. Okay. And Ildiko just said, hasn't figured out everything for the week. Okay. Yeah, I have a few things to agree on people with in terms of timing and when we do it. And um, yeah, I don't, I just don't know, but I'll, I'll let you all know if I'm, if I'm available. That'd be awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, great. Look at there, we got five minutes left and we have one more, two more things. Yeah, uh, you can just do one in five minutes. Okay. Uh, well, it won't take five minutes. It's just an, uh, mostly an announcement to let folks know that we did release this new metrics model called the business readiness of an open source project. This nice. is what it looks like. Basically just helping answer this question right here. Um, allowing organizations to assess the adoption readiness. So it's a lot of risk metrics, it looks like. Um, these are the ones we've included. Yeah. So now it's ready for your perusal and your use, however you want to use it. Perusal and the use, okay. Perusal and the use. That's it. <laughs> so see, I'm, there's plenty of time to talk about this. I'm two. good. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> is it, this one is, it's more than four minutes? Uh, well, I mean, I, I'll just talk about it, I guess, just a okay. second. But basically the book chapter, if you just click on it, 
Um, we've been asked to put together a book chapter for the to-do group, and um, I'm starting to just kind of arrange it and think about it. And I've been talking about this a little bit within the OSPO working group, corporate OSPO working group. And so the A, B, C, and D right there is just set up across those functions on that prior thing that I showed. And then it would just be of that. And so the idea is to um, just start adding some text around each, each one of these and how metrics can be helpful um, in these each of these particular contexts. I'm not quite sure what that would look like yet. Yehui has offered to help kind of think about the book chapter as we move forward. And anybody else who has an interest, more than happy to, to take input. Awesome. And what book does this go in? What's the context this chapter will be in? Um, I could go track it down. It's Anna is putting it together for the to-do group. So it's a, I think it's more OSPO related broadly to which metrics would be one of the chapters. Cool. Thank you. Yep. And I know she's organizing everything in on GitHub. So it's all very transparent and open. If you're curious and you want to see kind of what else is being talked about in that book. I'm not sure if she mentioned this or not, Matt, maybe you know, is she, are they going to publish it on GitHub? Like, will it be freely available? Do you know? I don't know. Okay. I was just curious. I am would guess it's freely available, but where? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. No worries. I was just curious. See, that was easy. You got two minutes left to talk about it, Matt. Excellent. A minute to spare. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for showing up today. Appreciate you. Yeah. And it was great to see everyone. Um, have a good rest of your day. We'll yeah, see you all too. Bye I bye. will see you here next week, but you will see each other. So Yes, we will all be here. <laughs> see you later. Later. See you, everybody. Bye. Bye.